It's theCUBE, covering HPE Big Data Conference 2016. Now, here are your hosts, Dave Vellante and Paul Gillen. Welcome back to Boston, everybody. This is theCUBE. We're here with a special presentation of HPE's Hewlett Packard Enterprises Big Data Conference, BDC, hashtag Seize the Data. Marcus Brown is here. He's the Vice President of Corporate Development at Data Guardian. We're going to talk data security. Marcus, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thank you, great to be here. So, hot topic, security. It's just, every year we look back, we spend tons of money, and it seems it just keeps getting harder and harder, and uh, it's got to be great for business. Serious problems you're trying to solve. You'll give us the update on Data Guardian, and we'll get into how things are changing and the future a little bit. Absolutely, yeah. So Digital Guardian is a Boston-based uh, company. Uh, we're in Waltham, Massachusetts, just down the road here. And we have uh, 350 employees, and we're, we're growing very fast in the current environment. Um, it's true, the, uh, the challenges uh, are good for business, but we're trying to help our customers uh, deal with, with what's going on. Um, we're in the data protection business. A lot of people uh, in the past have called it data loss prevention. Um, there's a Gartner a magic quadrant, it's a well-established market. We've been a technology uh, leader for a number of years. And basically what we do is we, we help companies, large and small, organizations, governments, et cetera, protect their sensitive information. And um, that whole problem has been changing a lot you know, in, in the last couple of years. I mean, the, the reality at the moment is uh, we wake up every day and we read the newspaper and there's some other horrible breach that we, you know, uh, every day it, it's getting worse and worse. And there, there are names like, you know, Sony and Target and government organizations and, and, and uh, you know, the NSA and many Fidelity others. Fidelity. Uh, <laughs> who've, who've, who've been attacked. It, it's, it's, it's a very serious situation. Who hasn't been attacked, right? I mean. Uh, uh, pretty, much, uh, <laughs> pretty much everyone at the moment. Um, what it goes back to, um, you know, is um, it's a very dangerous world we live in. Mm. There are a lot of very motivated, and skilled people, well-resourced organizations trying to get into these companies. Um, that's a big part of the problem and companies are struggling to keep up with that adversary. You know, you've got nation states, you've got criminal organizations, you've got hacktivists, all sorts of people uh, who are very good at what they do. Um, that, that, that's, uh, that's one side of the problem. Um, the threat vectors have grown and become broader. You know, what, what we do, data loss prevention, 10 years ago was very much about the insider, the employee in the company, maybe just making a mistake and accidentally emailing something out, mm. or, or maybe it was about a bad guy, you know. Um, industrial espionage has gotten a lot worse in, in the last couple of years, and there are very skilled uh, people and organizations after data. Um, that's one side of the equation where it's been moving more is the outside attacker. So it's not just someone in your organization who's maybe disgruntled or angry or whatever. Um, there are people outside who are coming in via malware, are coming in via hacking techniques. And you know, the reality is um, antivirus and a lot of these traditional protections are not working very well anymore. So those guys get in. Bottom line is, what are they after? Why are they getting in the insider and the outsider? They're coming in to steal your data because they can monetize it. There's different types of data. There's uh, personal information, credit card information, uh, social security numbers, healthcare information, records, yeah. gets top dollar on, on the black market at the moment. So personal information, that's the customer data. And then on the other side, you've got your intellectual property, right? You can imagine a big manufacturer, or a car company or an industrial company, they spend hundreds of millions creating products, pharmaceutical companies, chemical companies, et cetera. That intellectual property, if stolen, means that a competitor could get a huge advantage and, and the company could have wasted you know, hundreds of millions of dollars potentially. So, IP is a big target so, as well. So is it fair to say that sort of at the, at the board level, if you will, the conversation has shifted, or the CIO has shifted the conversation from, I'm going to you know, keep the bad guys out, we're going to protect the perimeter, do, you know, do what we can, and we're going to keep you safe, to it's inevitable that we're going to get penetrated, but we are going to respond in a way that minimizes the, the damage. Is that a fair assessment of how the conversation has shifted at the board level? Th that, that's one part of it. Obviously the perimeter is dissolved and we live in this very dispersed world where everyone is everywhere and work and home and everything is mixed together. Uh, that makes the, you know, the firewall not enough uh, in an organization because people are outside of the firewall. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's one part of it. Um, the, uh, you know, the, 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 the other part of the equation is that it's really very much about the data. Right, so people are attacking your data. They want to steal your data. 99% of attacks are about stealing the data. So what we're trying to do is 
give people visibility of their data, understand their data, and protect it, not at the firewall or somewhere outside, it's actually at the data. Follow mm -hmm. that data, classify that data, and protect it against exfiltration, whether it's a bit of malware, whether it's a hacker, or whether it's you know, some internal guy who's got all the privilege and the rights to do it. We are just watching that data and make sure it doesn't go out. So it's the, the game has switched very much from a perimeter oriented to data oriented. Data is the is And Digital the Guardians, it sounds like it's a, its ability to respond to, to that threat or that detected threat is, is, is part of what your differentiation is? Is that fair? Or? Absolutely, yeah. So, so the, the way we work, uh, our technology and the way we, we partner with HPE, who's, who's a really important partner of ours in our ecosystem, is um, we, have, we have sensors in the enterprise on endpoint computers because that's where people work and that's where they do, insiders could do something bad or that's where malware will land and try and steal your data. Yeah, so risk is distributed by nature, isn't it? Yeah, it's and it's, it's a lot of the risk is on the endpoint. So it's yeah, you know, right. Windows, desktops and mm -hmm. servers, it's Linux, it's Macintosh. We run on all of those and we also have uh, network sensors to look at data moving around the enterprise and leaving the enterprise. So um, in, in those sensors, what we're trying to do, uh, particularly on the endpoint, is classify the data. You have to understand which data is sensitive in order to protect it, right? That, that's the key first step. And the second step is, is if we see that classified data moving out, we want to stop it. We, we, you know, we let people work with it. We don't want to break the business process. We want to enable the business process. But as soon as someone starts doing something malicious, like taking the jet fighter design and putting it up on Dropbox, we want to stop that, right? And, so, and you can automate that classification, obviously? Or how do you do that? We, we do. We have a couple of different methods. Um, the, most, uh, the first one is, is what we call content inspection. And that's where we actually OEM uh, the HPE uh, idle solution. That helps us scan documents and files for structured data, looking for regular expressions, looking for terms in you know, 100 plus languages, um, you know, and looking for proximity of terms and all that kind of stuff. And that we, we use idle for that purpose mm -hmm. on the endpoint to actually scan the data, classify it, and then we put a tag on it. Because once we recognize that the data is sensitive, we, we need to you know, carry that, that information with it. And you know, people will do, malicious people will do tricky things like they'll open the jet fighter design and they'll do a screenshot and then they'll put that in a PowerPoint and then they'll compress it and encrypt the PowerPoint and then they'll try and you know, put it on the thumb drive and all that stuff. So all of that obfuscation that people would do, we, we see that. And once it's tagged, we just protect that information. We don't let it get out in any form. But idle is a key part of our value proposition there. And that's what we call content inspection. The other way, the other thing is because we're on the endpoint computer, we have a lot of context of understanding what's going on in the business process. So we, we see who is the user. Oh, it's an engineer working with the CAD system. Or it's, oh, it's a, an executive. CFO. Wo working with the financials <laughs> yeah. that haven't gone out to the public yet, et cetera. So we, we, from that context, yeah. we're able to apply classifications as okay. well. So we know, we know what's top secret. And once we know it, we're in the right place on the network and on the endpoint to make sure it doesn't get out. Yeah. Organizations in a nutshell, are, are increasingly becoming permeable themselves now. They work with you know, 1099 employees and contractors. Edward Snowden was a contractor. Absolutely. Uh, how do you guard against these kinds of, of threats from occasional employees who may be granted access to, to files without the knowledge of the IT organization? Right, well once, once uh, you know, either an employee or an outside third party consultant, that's a big part of our value proposition, is they need to come through some device or uh, you know, a, a virtual desktop session or whatever, and we're in there. Wherever the user comes in, we're sitting there monitoring that user. And we understand their behavior, we understand the data, and we're able to protect it. So even outsiders, you know, like third party consultants, very common, or, or, or the outsourcer, the IT outsourcer, or, or someone, you know, a, a supply chain uh, company or whatever, that, that's a very big part of, of what we do. How about analytics and security? Those two worlds seem to be coming together. Can you talk about that a little bit? Absolutely, yeah. No, um, a big part of detection in, in cybersecurity is about collecting data, correlating data, and making sense of you know, many different sources of data. Um, the key area you know, in, in cybersecurity at the moment is, is, uh, is the SIM, the Security uh, Incident and Event mm -hmm. Management Systems. Um, Arcsight being the market leader, uh, we've worked with Arcsight for, for over five years. We're, we're an Arcsight pa partner. We'll be at the uh, HPE Protect event coming up in DC in, in a few weeks. And, and basically what we do, um, you know, the, the, the SIM is basically a, a single pane of glass where you bring in hundreds of, of data sources from your environment. And we're one of those data sources. We provide visibility of the data 
we provide visibility of the user and of the endpoints, the servers and desktops in the environment. We bring all of that into Arcsight so it can be correlated with you know, other, other events. And basically, it's, it's really, you, you have so much going on in an enterprise at the IT level. It's, it's about correlating, using intelligence to correlate the right things. You see something coming in through you know, the firewall, perhaps, and then you want to see where it landed and what it's doing and you know, is it attacking your data? And ultimately that's, that's the, the big piece we provide in, into the analytics is what's going on with your data? Wh who's accessing this and what are they trying to do with it? Right. So Protect is a big show for you guys. You said it's in DC Absolutely. in a couple Absolutely. of weeks, right? Is it? Yeah, 13th yeah. of uh, September. 13th we'll of September, there. obviously the heart of you know, the security world. Absolutely. And yeah. uh, what do you got going on down there for the, for the event? Um, so we're, um, we're uh, going to be uh, showcasing our latest integration with, uh, with Arcsight. And we're actually going to be uh, launching a, a new partnership with the uh, data security products. So we're, we're data protection from the, the side of you know, data loss prevention, DLP, and uh, HP has a lot of products on the side of encryption and protecting data around that. So I can't really say anything about it because we're going to announce it there, but mm -hmm. we have something coming, yeah. We're looking All forward right. to Your it. market is, very, is a very fragmented market. Security continues to be. Do you see leaders emerging? Do you see any consolidation at some point, or will this continue to be a landscape with a thousand solutions? Um, well, it, it, is, it is very fragmented. There are a lot of different areas. Um, I mean, we, uh, we, we see that the, the data piece is becoming more and more important. It's, the data protection piece is actually the fastest growing segment of cybersecurity, <coughs> but you definitely have the endpoint. We, we play in the endpoint security space as well. Um, I mentioned, uh, you know, antivirus kind of becoming ineffective, so there's a whole new market brewing there around the endpoint. Um, Arcsight is the market leader in the, in the correlation and that, you know, that uh, uh, SIM piece. Mm -hmm. So, so that, that's, that's, a, that's really the, um, the nerve center, if you like, of the security operations center is where all the products come together. That's, you know, that's a really important part of the ecosystem that, that HP controls alone, right? All right, we have to leave it there. Uh, Marcus, Digital Guardian, great story. Thanks very much for coming to theCUBE, appreciate Thank it. Thank you, appreciate it too. All right, keep right there, everybody. Paul and I will be back with our next guest. This is theCUBE, we're live from the waterfront in Boston. We'll be right back.